past few months have brought incredible amounts of snow to the Lake Tahoe region. It's also been really cold even for that area. Yeah, despite all of that, one thing you won't see is an ice covered Lake Tahoe. Meteorologist Heather Waldman joins us to explain why Heather. Yeah, could Lake Tahoe freeze? I love that question because while it might seem intuitive to think yes, given the cold, it turns out the answer is no. And the science behind why is pretty interesting. So let's start by looking at the air temperatures this season in South Lake Tahoe. These are the highs and the lows this month particularly has been cold. Notice the average high temperature lower than January, February and March, and it's actually on track to be the coldest on record for South Lake Tahoe, and it ties for the coldest since 1917 at Tahoe City. But even with a persistently cold year like this one, it's just not enough for widespread ice cover on Lake Tahoe. And the simple reason is that Lake Tahoe is deep really deep over 1600 feet deep and all 1600 feet has to be cold enough to freeze uh, for it to freeze on the surface during fall and winter. The lake surface does lose some of its heat and it cools down, but that colder water is heavier or more dense than the water that's below it. So it sinks. That process repeats over and over through the cold season. And this year it actually happens so much that the lake water was the same temperature from the top all the way to the bottom for the first time since 2019. But even then, the water temperature bottomed out at 41 degrees. In order for a lake to freeze, that temperature actually needs to hit a magic number, and it's 39.2 degrees. Are you surprised it's not 32? Here's Dr. Jeffrey Schlato to explain why. 39.2 is the temperature at which the density uh, of water is a maximum. So at that point, once the temperature of the whole lake is at 39.2, as it starts getting colder, let's say it gets the surface gets to 39, that water is no longer denser. It's light. It floats on the surface. So said another way, as that surface water keeps cooling, it can stay there because it's less dense than the water below it, so it can cool until a thin sheet of ice forms. Now that did happen in Emerald Bay last month. The water surface froze for the first time in 30 years. Emerald Bay does connect to Lake Tahoe, but through a very narrow channel, and it's only about 200 feet deep, meaning it can cool a lot faster than Lake Tahoe can. Dr. Schlato says that in order for Tahoe to freeze over, intense winter like cold would need to hang around for at least another six weeks. But given the ever-increasing sun angle this time of the year, that just won't happen. 